Hi, my name's Joe, and I'm an Android developer based in Brighton in the UK. So my GDE journey spans across um, several years, I guess. Before I joined the programme, I did a bunch of public speaking and writing, but it wasn't easy for me to get started in that. Um, I was super shy. I didn't really like the idea of getting up on stage and talking in front of people. And even like writing was quite difficult for me because I had this vision of like sharing stuff online and people like picking at it and um, sort of making me feel bad. It all started when my, my friend runs a meetup in Brighton and he put my name down for a talk. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm doing this. Like my name's on the, on the list. I did that talk and I was like, wow, this was, you know, not actually as bad as I thought it would be. And I could see people were engaged. As soon as I did that, I remember getting home and going online and being like, I need to find the next conference to speak at. I need to find the next event. But obviously conferences aren't happening around here every week. So I wanted other ways to give back to the community. And that was also the point where I started to get more into writing articles. I could do it from my computer, could write something, put it online, and it's kind of accessible to everyone. I always saw GDs on Twitter, and they had their you know, the little profile picture badge. I don't know, I thought they were like part of some special club that was like above everyone else. It seems silly to, to think, think like that. And that kind of, you know, was what put me off at first, like even approaching someone to, to discuss what a GDE is and how to be a part of it. I was at a meetup and there was someone from Google there and I thought, you know, this could be my chance to learn more about the GDE program. I didn't want to, you know, be that person to be like, hey, I want to be a GDE, how do, I, how do I do it? So I decided to go from an angle of being like, oh, can you tell me more about the program and see if I could find out some stuff from that way. But now looking back, I, I don't know if, you know, if that would have even been an issue because um, people are keen to have GDs. Like if you're an expert in your field and you have a lot to give back to the community, then there's, there's no reason why you, sh you should be you know, even shy of, of asking someone about that. So from there, I went to meet with them for lunch at a Google office in London, just to learn more about the program and learn if it was the right fit for me. And yeah, decided that from there um, I applied and the, the interview process was kicked off. So the first step was a community CV, kind of a collection of the things that I had done and contributions to the community, conference talks, blog posts, podcasts, anything that was a way of, of giving back. And once that was done and someone verified that, you know, it looked all good, um, I was moved on to the second step of the process. And this was an interview with another GD. I was quite nervous. Again, you know, being with a GD, I had no idea what I was going to be asked. So we chatted a bit about Android, we chatted a bit about the things that I've been talking about at conferences and, you know, just explained explained those things to the to the person that's interviewing me. Doing that interview I kind of realised like, oh hey, I, I do know I do know my stuff and I am in, in the right position to be able to, to to see this through. Once that was done, there was the final interview which was with someone from the Google team. And this interview was more to me it was more product focused and community stuff as well, rather than um, technical aspects. I felt good about the interview. I didn't feel as good about it as the, the previous interview. Um, maybe it was just because it was with a Googler. I always felt a bit uncertain. But um, once that was done, it's kind of a, a waiting game in, in, in my eyes. You know, I wasn't sure how long it would take. But the next day, um, I think it was the next day or so, the, the person who interviewed me followed me on Twitter. I remember getting like really excited. It's like, oh my God, is this like, does this mean I'm in? Is this like a good sign? And um, a week later, I, I got the thumbs up that I'd been accepted into the program and I was over the moon. And um, yeah, that was, it was really great to have that news. So at that point, I got the NDA, which was a non-disclosure agreement to sign on my behalf, to basically say that I wouldn't share any information that I received from Google's end that wasn't public yet. I was also invited to the mailing list for GDEs and also the GDE Slack. I also got my um, Twitter badge, like to put on my Twitter profile picture, which for me was like a, a really cool point because I'd obviously seen all the other GDEs had those badges. So, um, so for me to be able to have that was like a really like rewarding moment. The last few years for me in the GDE program has been a really great opportunity for me to be even more involved in the community and just get closer and, and also learn more from other members in the community. If you're active in the community or you're looking to be a Google developer expert, then reach out to people, talk to other GDEs, talk to people from Google. Um, you may be in that position where you don't feel like, you know, this is for you right now, but if you're already seen as an expert in your field, it's likely something that you should be involved in.